I've known that I'm supposed to be a surgeon since the day that I was born. That destiny, it's all I've ever known. I mean, every moment of my life has been pushing me towards it. I don't even know who I'd be without it. It's your father talking. He had the condition too, didn't he? He must have hid it from my dad, faked his test results somehow. My dad didn't fake anything. Your father did. Now, he knew about my dad's CMT. He covered it up. That's a lie. My dad would never. Of course he would. Same reason my dad lied. Same reason I did. Keeping that secret, it was the best way to help the greatest number of people. Sick or not, you know, this hospital needed my dad. His innovation kept the research money coming in just like mine will. Don't worry. I'll tell the board how crucial it is to reinstate you. I don't want to stay. I thought that if I didn't live up to my legacy, not for me, but for everyone else, that, that it would ruin my life. But when I was fired today, I just felt relief. And at first I didn't understand why, but I get it now. I've been trying to live up to your standard too. Ever since we started working together, I always thought that you were so much better than me. And you feel that pressure too. And that pressure has caused you to lose your way. And I just don't want that for me. I still want to be a doctor, help people, but um, I can't do that to the best of my ability at this hospital. There's too much history, too much pressure, too many expectations, too many people that I love that are always in desperate need of help. I have felt the need to live up to this school that was literally created for me. And the pressure to save the school and my friends means that I will never live a life of my own. What are you talking about? This is a hospital, not a school. Actually, it's a therapy box. And um, if I'm gonna help the real you out there, I need to leave. I think the wrong one of us is in this hospital bed. Just rest. I finally figured out how I'm gonna fix this.